Hello everybody, this is Hybrid, and today I'm here with the Man of Steel himself, Superman, for character bios. So, if you don't know what character bios is for, essentially, or what we do here, or I do here, I go over the origin of the characters, their powers, their equipment if they have any, their weaknesses, basically everything you need to know about the characters. So, if you want to pick up their comic, you should know at least a, the general stuff about them. I guess and not feel too lost and also if you don't know about these characters you know I doubt for Superman no one knows who he is but anyways if you don't know who the characters are you can watch this and maybe get interested in them or at least have some knowledge of them so without further ado let's begin <laughs> So a brief kind of run through of everything I'm going to end up saying, minus the origin. Superman, real name, Kal-El, that's his Kryptonian name. Clark Kent is his human name. Now he has superhuman speed, strength, durability, reflexes, senses, flight, heat vision, x-ray vision, and intelligence. So he's one of those heroes that has basically all the powers you would want and all the powers you would need. Now equipment, he has Kryptonian ceremonial battle armor. I'm going to get to that more later because it's actually kind of cool and there's a lot of things about the armor that a lot of people probably don't know unless you read the Superman and the Action Comics comic, pretty much. Now, weaknesses, they're pretty well known, Kryptonite obviously, but also magic, and a lot of people seem to forget Superman is invulnerable to a high degree, but he's not impervious to everything, so powerful opponents are a weakness technically as well. So Origins, when the planet Krypton, you know, his home planet, was about to explode, his parents sent him into space via a prototype rocket. Now his parents are Jor-El and Lara. Jor-El is a well-known scientist, one of the top scientists on Krypton. If you don't know what Krypton is, highly advanced race of, uh, or Krypton is a planet that Kryptonians live on, and Kryptonians are a highly advanced race, so science, technology, math, all of those things excelled in by Kryptonians like they are it's a it's to such a high degree that's well known throughout the universe pretty much and I gotta say uh, pretty impressive considering this rocket was not only a prototype but designed for animals so it was really a last resort that they put them in here but they wanted to save their son obviously so you know if you're a parent you probably understand the sacrifice is worth it now origins uh, part two I guess once the rocket found a suitable planet to set its uh, systems for, it went to the closest one, which ended up being Earth. And more specifically though, Smallville, Kansas is where the spaceship ended up landing. Now the Kents found the baby, which ended up being Clark Kent once they adopted him and named him, and raised him on their farm in Smallville, Kansas, or in Smallville, Kansas. And in turn, they, teach, they taught him, you know, what you could consider traditional Midwestern values like morals, lessons, things to be a good man, I guess you could say. And if you look at the picture to the left of the text, you can see the Smallville farm. You know, it looks pretty nice out. Very nice art, by the way. So, all in all, pretty simple. Now, after high school, though, this is where the exciting things happen. Uh, he starts fighting crime in the form of corrupt businessmen. So, he doesn't straight away jump to fighting robots and aliens and you know petty theft he goes at first against corrupt businessmen who are ruining the city in his opinion so as you can see there in the picture superman before he gets his costume too where he just has the cape from krypton a regular t-shirt jeans and boots on and also he has a businessman in his hand who is obviously very surprised to see a super powered figure come out of nowhere and in turn you know, kind of bring justice to him. Now, throughout all of this, obviously uh, the public sees this, especially the government, and the government gets worried. So they contact the one mind that they think will be able to help them, Lex Luthor. Now, Lex Luthor does help them, and in the process, the government captures, does a few tests, and tortures Superman. Now, all that's very unsuccessful considering Superman escapes, because 
the torturing aspect doesn't really work because they're using what they thought would be human levels of like pain things like that but obviously he's not human now for the testing though they couldn't really do anything considering they didn't know much about him therefore like all they really got was little things like kryptonite kind of has an effect on him and you know little minor things like that and also throughout the capture superman was kind of just testing them really just to see like what they would do what they have to do so all in all this is where lex luther and superman kind of their conflict really starts out at now after escaping the government though the collector of worlds also known as brainiac comes to collect the citizens of metropolis and destroy earth in the process now this is connected to lex luther as well because he made a deal with brainiac which is why brainiac goes specifically to metropolis because in in the dc universe brainiac or not brainiac lex luther is considered the greatest mind on earth so there's that and once brainiac comes though superman goes up to brainiac's ship and you know they fight and all that stuff but in the process superman finds kryptonian armor because you know brainiac has things from various cultures and one of those is the bottle the, the bottled city of candor another one is this outfit so it's a really cool outfit i'll get more into it later when i get to the equipment aspect of this video but all you need to know is they fight each other for metropolis now once brainiac is defeated though superman is seen as a hero by a lot of people while at the same time a threat which is you know reasonable he's a very powerful figure of course people would be afraid of him because you know if in if the injustice comic shows anything superman gone rogue or really pissed off is a big threat you don't want to mess with that so for lack of a better word this is the start of superman now we get to the powers uh i've said this earlier and i'll just kind of repeat it again and i'll talk about each power individually Due to the yellow sun, Superman has superhuman strength, speed, durability, reflexes, senses, flight, heat vision, x-ray vision, and intelligence. Now, like I said, this is because of the yellow sun radiation. Krypton is in... Well, where Krypton is, they have a red sun. So, different radiation. Therefore, when he's in the yellow sun, his body metabolizes the energy differently, giving him these abilities. Now, it's been hinted at due to when, they, when his rocket ship was landing... They mentioned the gravity difference uh, compared to Krypton. I think it's like 0 0.20, whatever the unit of measurement on Krypton was for gravity. His strength and durability could be just from that as well and kind of reinforced by the solar energy. But I'm not going to go too deep into it because that would take a lot of time in this video. Now, I don't want to make like an hour long video or half an hour long video. I just want to give you guys the information and in a kind of quick way yet not too quick so superhuman strength now that's the left picture and this part's written by scott labdell so i personally take it with a grain of salt because they can they will probably retcon this but anyways it has him bench pressing the weight of this the weight of the earth for five days straight now nope this is not with the exposure to sunlight either that's why i said they might retcon this later because this puts superman at a ridiculous level of strength that would be very hard to write for in the future because you'd have to have tons of characters at this caliber of strength. Now, speed, reflexes, flight, they all go to the same category. He can fly at supersonic speeds, but he cannot touch the Flash. Do not get that twisted. He did touch the Flash in the Justice League comic, but that was when the Flash didn't know how fast he was and underestimated his speed. Now, after that, though, the Flash made a good point to never go that slow again around superman because you know he's not s so fast that he can touch the flash but he's fast enough where you know the flash didn't know how fast he was and superman caught him off guard also even though this is only the new 52 superman a good idea of how fast he is would be smallville they did a good job of really exploring that speed aspect so kind of take that as an idea of how fast he really is because they don't exactly say how fast he is. In the, in the New 52 at least. Now the senses, pretty general really. Not too much to say about it. You know, he can see really well far away. He can hear from like space. Things like that. Now heat vision, that's the middle picture. He can 
alter the way his heat vision works and by that I mean he can make it really narrow and precise or he can make it really wide and kind of no aim to it. Now also with that being said he can in, he can control the intensity of it so it can be really really hot or you know not that hot so it's actually a really flexible power really depending on who's writing it and also x-ray vision all you really need to know about it is he can see through walls with it now durability that's the right pitcher he is extremely durable and his suit enhances that which i'll get to more later but all you need to know is he can withstand energy blasts bullets rockets explosions in general so a lot of high powerful forces onto him he can withstand and last but not least intelligence now this is especially due to the fact that he is kryptonian which in just from the start kryptonians are highly intelligent well renowned or well known through the un throughout the universe for being intelligent so it's no surprise he would inherit that trait also, he can speed read, and when he speed reads, similar similar to how Bart Allen is in the pre-New 52, he memorizes what he reads, which they showed in one of the comics where Superman ended up having to do surgery on Lois, but it was such a specific surgery, Superman read all these books on the surgery and medicine and all, this, all these things that even doctors there were saying, you know, in the matter of a few seconds, Superman pretty much has various doctorate degrees, like he has the intelligence of people with doctorate degrees. So he's not stupid in any way, shape, or form. And also, Brainiac's ship be ends up becoming his Fortress of Solitude as well. So all that knowledge is there. We can only imagine how much he's looked at, but considering how long he's had it and his ability to speed read, things like that, we can presume he is very, very intelligent. Now, equipment. Superman wears a ceremonial Kryptonian battle armor, which is said to be indestructible. It also has major healing abilities. Now, the suit kind of acts like a symbiote in a way where it bonds with the wearer of the suit. And it's Kryptonian in nature, very highly advanced too. So when it bonds with the Kryptonian host, I guess you could call it, it finds via its DNA its family kind of lineage. That's why it has the House of L symbol on it. For Superman because if they they showed this actually before if you were to put it on a different person depending on you know that lineage right there it'll change the symbol to their family's crest so that's pretty cool there also healing properties it saves Superboy because uh, his genetic structure is getting ripped apart thanks to hell due to the recent hell and earth event and when Superman put this on him it actually is keeping his body from breaking down on a genetic level. So that's very, very, you know, advanced for the healing capabilities of it. And also, probably just because it's Kryptonian in nature, it is said to be indestructible. So that kind of enhances his durability even to higher levels, which is quite ridiculous when you think about it. But at the same time, you know, armor seems to be in nowadays. And we get to his weaknesses. Now, Superman's weaknesses are kryptonite, magic, and powerful opponents. I have three examples of that, or I guess one example for each of those, um, on the screen right now, as you can see. Now, on the left side, that's Superman against Kryptonite Man, or K-Man, whatever you want to call him. And, obviously, due to the kryptonite, Superman is weak. That's why you see him with the bloody nose, and, you know, the way his body is. He's, like, trying to get away, but he can't because he's so weak. And the middle one... Superman is fighting Hell, a fellow Kryptonian, aka a powerful opponent, and you can see him defeated there. And then on the right side, this was in the Justice League comic, uh, the magic of David Graves, who is the first main villain to, after Darkseid in the Justice League comic, that's affecting Superman. So he's not impervious to magic. Therefore, it's, you know, it's a big weakness for him. So as you can see, he's very powerful, but he's not a god or anything like that like he's not without weakness so to speak and that concludes our character bios for superman now i have more planned the next one will be a marvel character so look forward to that and then we're going back to a dc one i have a few special guests in the future to do some because i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know every character like luckily for the ones i've done so far i know the characters pretty well but 
you know, for characters, let's say like Aquaman, I don't know Aquaman that well. I don't read his comic, so I wouldn't do that when I'd get someone like Armin to do it. Same thing with a character like Talon, I get Joel to do that, or let's say Silver Surfer, I probably get White Sheep to do that because White Sheep loves Silver Surfer. He knows Silver Surfer way better than I do. So all in all, this is Hybrid. Please subscribe, comment, and like, and I'll see you guys later with later videos.